the boys to entertain you with music and laughter to help you on your way to raising the rafters with a hey 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 with songs and sketches and jokes old and new with us about the you and feel blue so meet the gang cause the boys are here the boys to entertain you B O B O Y S boys to entertain you All doing the Lambert walk. Hey! <laughs> now don't forget, Mr. Ali, I have told Sergeant Major Saab that you are best jersey in the whole of the Alley. That is good, Ranji. I will make him a uniform of such enchantment that he will be bowled over with ecstasy. That is good. And I want him to be pleased with it as well. <laughs> Ranji, can you tell me why the Sergeant Major Saab didn't have his suit made by the Camp Darzi? Because Rangi told Sergeant Major Saab that the Camp Darzi was a thieving fellow. Mind you, Mr. Ali, I am knowing that you are also a thieving fellow. But you are not so much thieving fellow as Cam Darcy. Thank you, Ranji. You are my friend. Now, come along. Show me the dusty tea from what you are going to make the uniform from. Eh, uh, here. That's huh? Mm hmm. Yeah. Are you quite sure this is jolly good quality? Of course. The fellow I get it from steals from only the very best places. <laughs> Hey, about time too, leading me through all these dirty back alleys. You like soap? Very delicious. Shut up. Disgusting. Put jumping wala soap? Like toenails cut? Shut up, Joe! Can't cut? Shut up, Joe! Oh, long sorry, Mr. Soap. We're all waiting to welcome your honor. At your service, sir. Show me the material. Yes, sir. Here, sir. Very good quality, sir. Kidnap price. Uh, for you, sir. Very special price. 65 rupees. Have you gone off your flaming rocker? Huh? Uh, 64. Shut up. 63. Shut up. <gasps> Shut up. 50. Take it or leave it. 50. <laughs> sir, I will be ruined. I am a poor man. I have a wife. Shut, Shut up! up! Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Yes, sir. Will you please to remove your shirt so that you can be measured? Ramzan will take your measurement. Whoa! They know a real man when they see one, don't they? Oh, they have never seen anything like it, Sergeant Major Saab. Yes, Sergeant Major, what is the name London in London? Charles Atlas. <laughs> Shut up! And do not be such clever, Dicky. <laughs> I am ready to take your measurement, sir. Have you got a tape measure? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> but it's used for essential purpose, sir. <laughs> Some skiving fellow has stolen my 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 belt, sir. Don't measure, sir. He will measure your beautiful chest first. Oh. Will you expand your lovely chest? What's that for? Sir, that is for position of pocket. 
Now, Sergeant Major Saab, if you will permit, I will take inside leg. Sergeant <laughs> 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 Major Saab, there is one problem. The stick is too long for inside leg. Hey, Rangi. Huh? Perhaps you could cut a bit off the stick. Oh, no. I, I cannot ruin a good yardstick for one Sergeant Major Saab. Look, I have one top hole idea. Why not stick stick down top hole in trouser? I'm not sticking that dirty stick down my trouser. Don't worry, Sergeant Major Saab. Yours is first pair. This dirty stick has gone down. Get on with it. Major Saab. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Now we have another problem. Because the stick is inside the trouser, I cannot read the measurement. <laughs> well, that is no problem. All you have to do is to stick pin in there. You are not seeing no pin in there. Sergeant Major Saab, only one thing for it. You will have to remove trouser. But no, no, there is What's the matter? The whole thing is a travesty. It's burlesquing burlesque. I mean, every time I do this, I lose all sense of reality. I mean, I destroy it. I mean, the audience can't believe in me. I'm gonna be believable. How can they believe in me when I do this? So what's the problem? The problem? They can see I'm a man. That's a matter of opinion. I think it's funny when you bang your lids together. I'm the leading lady in this company. And for your information, I'm not supposed to be funny. And how, how would you know? You're just an amateur. Sorry, well, we've stopped. I don't like doing this number either. Oh, do tell me more, Ofty. I mean, I like singing romantic songs. I like to be dressed in smart, debonair clothes, not wearing funny hats. <laughs> I don't like wearing funny hats. <laughs> really? Besides, I don't know what gestures to do. I could give you one. <laughs> oh, fellas, trust Solly. Have I ever let you down? Well, bummer trust you me. Bummer you up. They are here. Oh, good. Take ten, fellas. I'm going to hold an audition. Audition? Yeah. What for? I'm going to give this number some class. I'm going to have a real snake charmer. Wheel him in, Randy. Oh, that's going to be good. Really, really, really. More flipping really, amateurs. Really, really, really. Really. Sab, they are here, Sab. All excellent snake charmers. Right, line up, fellas. Give your music to the pianist. What's up, Sab? Music not wanting, Sab. It is all done by the ear old. <laughs> Uh, Paderewski, yeah? what have we got for snake charmers? Snake charmers, uh, inner Persian market. Good, I like it. Right, first one. Now get it. Salim. Yes, Salim, hey, Baba Diyata. Salim, right. It's a Salim, back to back. Oh, yes, Salim. 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 Sab, please to be patient. Snake coming very soon, Sab. <laughs> That's all we need. A temperamental snake. <laughs> all right, thank you very much. We'll let you know. What's the matter? Sab, I'm a grieving man. Baby, but your mother's home is not fine. Yeah, absolutely. Sab, he said, please to give him one more chance, Sab, because Snake not feeling very well today. <laughs> Sorry, Sunshine. You know, show business is tough. <laughs> Next time. Thank you. Next one. Sultan, Sultan, have a Sultan. 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 Or bada samp to nehe? Ye bada hoega. Acha? Saab, he says it will grow. <laughs> we ain't got time to wait for it to grow. <coughs> what do you think, fellas? Well, the snake is a bit minuscule, Solly. Oh, it's like a little worm. <laughs> I think the whole act is too intimate. Yeah, you're right. It's far too intimate. Mind you, it's a classy act. Nice basket. <laughs> All right, we'll let you know. Next one, please. 
ये छोटा लगता है मगर बहुत ही तेज है एक बार काटेगा तो आप मर जाओगे What are you supposed to be, Gunner Beaumont? I'm a harem dancer. <laughs> What have you got under there? Nothing. Correct. <laughs> well done. Clever boy. Get your hat on. Move yourself, move yourself, Jolly, Jolly. Get the lead out of those blues. Come on, let's have you. <laughs> right, let's have a look at you lovely boys. Horrible. Horrible. Stand up straight, boy. I'm better sure as you got there. Show him off. Show him off. Horrible. <laughs> what have we got under you? <coughs> Is it a teapot? <laughs> no. Is it a soldier? No. Is Gunnar Sugden? I can't see. Oh dear, how sad. Never mind. <laughs> right, lovely boys. I want this basher laid out for kid inspection in half an hour, and I want it neat, neat, neat. Yes, yes. Move yourselves. Move yourselves. All right. Man. Oh dear. <clears throat> you all right, Ashwood? No, not really, sir. As a matter of fact, I've got a bit of a problem. Oh, what is it? Well, I went down to the bazaar yesterday, and this chap was selling girls, uh, selling girls, uh... Selling girls, yes. Did you buy one? <laughs> not actual girls, sir. Only the top. Well, that's no damn good to anybody. <laughs> I mean, the things that go over girls. What, lids? <laughs> Oh, let me see, how can I put this? Um, two nerdy native girls. Why do you ask? Well, I want to know how they do it. I can't go into all that now, I should I'm far too busy. <laughs> put one of these on. Oh, you mean a sari? Yes. I bought it for my wife. Oh, she's going to look a bit odd doing the shopping in Richmond High Street wearing that. <laughs> it is for special occasions. I thought one evening when we were alone together, I'd cook a little curry dinner, and she could slip into this. And I could put up one of those bead curtains, and she could sort of slide through it. And then we could... And then we could... Oh, steady on, Ashwood. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. It's this heat. I've tried cold showers, but they're no good. The water's always tepid. Do come to the point. Well, I don't know how to wind it up. What, the wife? No, the sari. Look, it's perfectly simple. I'll show you. <clears throat> you take the end here. And go something like this. Around here. It's a jolly nice colour, sir. It'll go beautifully with her eyes and her hair. Don't start that all over again. <clears throat> <clears throat> Come on. 
Not quite sure what to do with this bit here. I think it comes up over here. That's it. I beg your pardon, sir. That's quite all right, Sergeant Major. I'm just trying on this sari. If you don't mind me saying so, sir, I think a quieter colour would suit you better. Don't be absurd. It's for my wife. Of course, sir. I never for a moment thought otherwise. I don't quite know where this bit goes. Uh, do you know how to put a sari on, Sergeant Major? Well, begging your pardon, sir, but such doings as I've had with them is mostly concerned with taking them off. <laughs> don't you start. We've had quite enough of that already. Well, as far as I can remember, sir, this end goes in your something like this. Sergeant Major, sir, I've gone to the party. Oh, blame it. <laughs> I have just seen one very strange thing. Sergeant Major Saab is dressing up Captain Saab as woman. Sir? But when concert party is dressing up as woman, Sergeant Major Saab is calling them one big bunch of poofies. Are you not, Ranji? They don't call poof poof in London. They call them Middle Sex Regiment. Don't be such clever, Dickie. Come in! Sergeant Major Saab. Concert party kit, all neat, tidy, and totally ready for inspection, sir. Right. And what's this, Sergeant Major? Concert party getting a bit slack, sir, so I ordered a full kit layout. Oh, well, I'd better come and inspect them. I'll be down in about ten minutes. Sir. <laughs> you better come along as well, Ashwood. Take your mind off other things. <laughs> all right, Alice, get your bed back a few inches. How's that, Tommy? Lovely. What I can't understand is, why does the army always make you lay everything out in straight lines? Because, my dear Lofty, that is the military mind. Everything must be in straight lines. There's no room for any individuals. Nothing ever makes sense. I mean, you polish your boots to make them look smart, and then you cover them in grease to keep the water out. And I resent it. As an intellectual, I resent it. <laughs> As an intellectual, I resent it. <laughs> Well, Mr. Lardy Dar Gunner Graham, that is what makes the British Army what it is today, but then I am talking about soldiers and not a bunch of puffs! Stand by your chair, boys! <laughs> now, let's see what wonders are about to unfold before my very eyes. Beautiful. <laughs> that is a beautiful kit layout, Gunner Parkins. That's my bed, Sergeant Major. <laughs> Is it? This is my bed, Sergeant Major. Oh, even better. <laughs> What's this? My kit layout. Kit layout? It looks more like a tart boudoir! <laughs> Daddy Razor? Mummy Razor? And baby razor. <laughs> Why have you got three razors? Well, that one's for shaving my face, that one's for under my arms, <laughs> and that one's for shaving my legs with. <laughs> there is nothing in Depot Waters about gunners shaving their legs. <laughs> I'm the leading lady in the show. I can't go on with hairy legs. Shut up! <laughs> if I say you will have hairy legs, you will have legs hairy. <laughs> Now on, let him grow. <laughs> Sir, <clears throat> I must speak to you on a matter of really great urgent. What do you want? Sir, Mr. Sub, this man, number one snake charmer, Sub. And he very upset, Sub, because he has lost his snake. And he says, Sub, that it is all your fault because you have kicked his basket. Sub, he says he wants 50 rupees for return of valuable snake. Well, 50 rupees. 50 rupees? Go, go, get it, get it! <laughs> You did not let him tell you what he wanted to tell you. What? What he wanted to tell you was, Sab, that when you kicked his basket, the cobra got out into this basher. Oh, what? Oh. There's a snake loose in the basket. There's a snake loose. Stand still, stand still! Yes, yes, there's nothing whatever to be alarmed about. Uh, a cobra won't attack you unless you attack it. Well, what are we going to do, Sergeant Major? We can't sleep in here with a cobra loose. I am going to show you how to conduct a snake search. 
Fiera? Yeah. Fetch me the long pole. What's this up? The rest of you, line up against that wall. Come on, move yourself, move yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, move yourself. Move it out, move it out. Move it out, move it out. Right. Fiera, down by there. What's this up, my son? Now, on the command noise, I want you to follow me, stamping and shouting, and making as much noise as possible. I will turn over the charpoys with this long pole. That will frighten the snake away, because cobras cannot stand noise. <laughs> Excuse me, Sir Major. The hammer dryad can't hear. <laughs> Hammer what? Uh, the, uh, the hammer dryer, the, the king cobra, it, it can't hear. <laughs> Don't talk daft. What about snake charmers? Uh, oh, oh the, the snakes aren't attracted by the music, son, Major. They're, they're hypnotised by the swaying of the pipe. Let me tell you, Mr. Lardy Dark, Gunner Graham, I have tackled more cobras than you've had hot dinners. <laughs> right! Noise! Hey! I bought your new uniform from Dursley, sir. About time, too. I got a date at eight o'clock. Put it on the back of the chair. I just had me to stop. Oh, sorry, me to stop. You look so splendid in your beautiful new uniform. And your, your half chat girlfriend will be so proud of you. <laughs> How dare you call her half chat? Her father is the assistant station master. Sorry, me to stop. No offense. She jolly good family. Father half chat, mother half chat, and she most lovely whole chat. <laughs> Shut up. Get out. Just stop. Stop. One thing before I go, stop. Uh, snake charmer say, could he have his pipe back? No, he cannot. Get out. You're too kind. Husband <laughs> <laughs> Bach and there we are a time. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to it. <laughs> I bet it's the first time he's had a good Welsh tune played on that. <laughs> God save all great. Missing Cobra. 
Problem is, what is he going to do with it? No, no. Problem is, what is Cobra going to do with Sergeant Major Saab? <laughs> oh, my God. He's in jelly dangerous position. Sergeant Major Saab, you're playing wrong tune. You're playing sneak coming up tune. You should be playing sneak going down tune. It goes like this, Sergeant Major Saab. I We will go and see the wise one, Bombardier Solomon Saab. Tell me, Jao, Jao. What is made of I can give you one piece of concrete advice. Whatever you do, do not stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> Tara, fellas, fellas, Tara, listen, listen. We're all perfectly safe as long as we keep our mosquito nets tucked in at night. The cobra can't get at us. Why don't we buy a mongoose, keep it in here all night, and that'll keep the cobra away? I didn't know snakes were afraid of geese. <laughs> Robbie, do me a favour, shut up. Parky, good idea. Lofty, go buy a mongoose. I've never bought a mongoose before. Are they very dear? Oh, no, Lofty's got a point there. We don't want an expensive one. Oh, no. no. <laughs> it's only for the one night. Get a cheap one, Lofty. OK. Here, maybe you could hire one. <laughs> hey, Sully. Where do you buy a mongoose from? <laughs> Where do you think you buy a mongoose? From the mongoose shop. Jam! <laughs> I have good tidings and bad tidings, sir. Good tidings are snake is no longer in this basher. Oh, 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 How do you know? Because of bad tidings, sir. It is in Sergeant Major Sal's basher. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not such bad news. <laughs> well, what's it doing? It is being charmed by Sergeant Major Sal. But I don't think Cobra is going to find Sergeant Major Saab charming for very much longer. <laughs> All right, fellas. We better get over there quick. Come on. <laughs> oh, blimey. Sergeant Major, you all right? The Sergeant Major looks in a bad way. Blimey, he won't be able to keep that up much longer. He looks all puffed out. There's no need to pan. Can you hear me, Sergeant Major? It's Gunner Graham here. Yeah? Now, I can assure you that that snake is perfectly safe. As I pointed out to you earlier, cobras cannot hear. They are merely hypnotised by the swaying of the pipe. So, as long as you keep the end of your pipe swaying, well, you can, you can stop blowing. <laughs> oh, well, bang goes that theory. Come on, fellas, we better get out. Sergeant Major, whatever you do, don't stop playing. <laughs> At times like these, you know who your friends are. <laughs> Ram Sergeant Major Saab, we know that you are being exhausted and we have brought relief. My friend Ramzan will take over. Watch out. Chulu, chulu. The snake is now being enchanted by the end of his thing and you can stop now, Sergeant Major Saab. <laughs> that must be his wife. I did not know she was in show business. <laughs> there are two snakes, Ashford. I thought you told me there was only one. Who tell me there's only one, Bombardier? I do wish you'd get your facts right. You made him a complete fool. Now listen to me, Sergeant Major. Nod your head if you can hear me. We are going to shoot the snakes. Well, Jack, stick in. <laughs> Yes, sir. Good move round the edge of the bed. Round the corner. <laughs> right, chaps. Take it. Fire! <laughs> Missed. There you go, sir. Ah, oh, Jones, they move quickly. <laughs> Go on, they've gone. All right, Sergeant Major, all clear. They've gone, Sergeant Major. <laughs> you can save your puff. It is all over, Sergeant Major Saab, and you can keep your date with your beautiful lady, and I'll get your splendid new uniform. <laughs> <laughs> oh, totally rotten, blimey. Sergeant Major Saab, I'm afraid you'll have to go and see your tailor again. <laughs> Hey, 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 the song.
and getting a joke of the new. They asked about the new old children, so we are going to join the boys are here. The boys to rent the day to. Thank you.